Hey you, it's me again, Tidan, and we are going to talk about another H5P content type called Advanced Fill in the Blanks. Let's begin. Once you're in the course, you're trying to input that activity, please always try to turn editing on first for you to be able to insert an activity or resource. Once that is done, you may now proceed to the section where you want to input that type of activity. So let's click on add an activity or resource. Go to activities, choose H5P. And then you will be directed to this page. All you have to do is fill out all the necessary details. All right, well, this is just optional. I just want to put some more details into this. But of course, all of these settings will depend on you. All right, now once you're done with the general information, you can now proceed to the H5P options. Okay, the grade. Hmm, let's try just a few perhaps I'm just gonna use five and I want it to be perfect so I'm going to input five as the grade to pass attempt options I want it to always be the first attempt but of course it depends on you common module settings I don't want to um, I don't want this to be moved I want this to stay as it is so restrict access I'm not very particular with this as well. Activity completions, all right. I want I don't want this to be manually marked by the students, but show activity as complete when conditions are met. Okay, students must receive a grade to complete that activity. Okay, and then let's try enable. This is basically the deadline of this type of activity, but you should try to consider other factors why students will not be able to finish this. That's why I have extended it to three days because I am trying to um, foresee um, network issues on the student's end. And then tags. This is something optional, all right? I just want this to be um, complete. That's why I have also added tags. Later, I will be showing you where the students can see tags on his or her dashboard, all right? And then let's go back up and go to General. Click on opens a new window when you reach package file if you click that you will be directed to the content bank where you can of course edit the h5p activity now find advanced fill in the blanks when you click on add and then here is here is the editor of h5p Let's put a title to it. Hmm, okay, I want this to be all about pathogens. Okay, media. Hmm. Optional media to display above the question. I want it to be an image instead of a video. 
Okay, let me see that. Untitled image, image, alternative text, hover text. Okay, I'm just trying to show you every part of this editor, okay, before we proceed into filling all these out. Okay. Let's see the snippet. Mm -hmm. Score, behavioral settings. All right. So let's now fill out all these boxes. So I'm going to input an image first an image of pathogens. All right. Let's see if I have. Okay. Hmm, I don't think I have it here, so let's try another folder. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right, so we have here E. coli, Listeria, Pediococcus, Salmonella, and all the others. Since we are talking about pathogens, I'm going to choose first the E. coli. Okay, and then text with blanks. Okay, let's show the instructions. Okay, this is the format of the text that you should input here. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. So let me input the text all about E. coli. All right, let's paste it here. Okay, let's have that. So, edit the text. Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right, I want the blanks to be okay here three four one two three four all right so let's put the correct answer here the first blank the first blank is ground and the other blank is contaminated. All right. So I'm all good with this. However, I'm just going to change this to pathogenic E. coli. All right. And then I'm all good with this. So let's try to add the range. And I want it to be distributed evenly. So if a student scored 0% to 50% or half of the score, then I think I'm going to say to the students to try again, All right? But definitely this is highly customizable. It depends on your preference, what you want to say to the student. And for the ones who have scored 51% to 100%, I would like to say, they are excellent. All right. And behavioral settings. Mm -hmm. Okay. The users type in the answers. Mm, okay. I want the user to be warned about the spelling error. Hmm. Do I want it to be something sensitive? Okay, it depends on you, but I'm not going to tick this box. Automatic checking, no, I don't want to show the students a solution. I don't want it to be retried either. All 
Okay, so I'm all good with the settings. So let's double check once again all of these, then let's try to save it. Once it has been saved, you will see something like this. All right, fill in the missing words. It can be found in ground beef and contaminated fruits and vegetables. Let's see. Oh, I got both right. <laughs> so let's try to close it. All right, so it is now here. Okay, it is now here in the content bank. We are now going to go back to the course and insert it to the course. All right. And let's put it right here. Click on the box, go to content bank, and then choose the one you have created. So that's pathogens, right? Remember the file name. Select this file and save and display. And da -da -da. <laughs> here it is. All right, you have successfully inserted advanced fill in the blanks in your course. I hope this is going to be helpful to yours. Cool, right? <laughs> I hope your students will also enjoy this type of activity. Surely he or she will increase the retention of this topic. Thanks again for watching a video. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.